Posse Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to Tom Grassi's Great Ranch, the Fabulous Plan of Ryan Grant. Are we throwing podcasts at the end of that? Podcast. Boom. Oh, man. Smith tongue, Johnson. Tongue twisted. With, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Ryan, I'm out of it. I don't, I don't know. It was a, it was a Dr. Seussical yeah. type title. It stuck out. Hmm. And that's what we went with. I don't know if I regret my decision already. No, I, I think it, it was ridiculously fitting. Mm, I agree. You know why? Because we ridiculously blew out the San Francisco 49ers. And that, my friends, is the T. I'm Tom Grassi. This is my wonderful, voluptuous co-host, Ryan Grant. Listen, I got to set my game up. I got to set my game up every week. I'm, uh, yeah, I am. I'm in, I'm in the gym. So. <laughs> I'm in the gym. Ryan Grant's like, hey, we looking thick, baby. That's it. We got we to work out for this show in case the Packers call me back. You know I'll what I mean? I'll take it. Listen, Ryan, the question that has been on everybody's mind since last week. Yeah. Did the Green Bay Packers wind up calling you for Thursday night? They did not. Unfortunately. No. I didn't even get a, a text message. Oh, Oh yeah. Well, I, oh, no, you know, what's funny. I did get a text message from someone in the pack organization. Oh, um, actually it was about some, uh, funds, old funds that had to be sent to me. How you like, how you like oh, how <laughs> you like them apples, which actually is a better deal. Cause I didn't even have to play for those. <laughs> so I'm sorry. How did, when was the last time that you were on the pack? It's been a few years, just a smidge. There's just something that got lost in the mail. Just got lost in there. Uh, I don't go into too, too much detail about it, but kind of, I guess. Like, <laughs> yeah. when they're doing like, and it, it wasn't actually from uh, the Packers. Oh. It was from somewhere else that sent it to the Packers. And, yeah, I don't know. It's usually what happens is that you know what? It's a good thing because it shows that whatever the company, I'll, I'll keep them nameless. Good auditing. Ooh. That's true. That means that they're doing a good job with their books. I mean, not a great job because, you know. Not exactly. Not a great book. It's not years late. No, I want you to know, it by no means was a, Okay. All right. So they got the wrong Venmo account. They got the wrong profile. So now they're, they're, they're making sure that they get it right this time. I got you. I got you. Ryan Grant, how does it feel to be back in the States after your trip down to Mexico? It was good. Um, it was really good. Uh, Mexico was great, productive, and uh, but I'm glad to be back. I'm That's glad it. to be back at my home and uh, and ready, rocking. Because you know, not only did the Packers, let me just throw it in there. Not only did the Packers blow out the 49ers, but Notre Dame, I believe, did beat Clemson. They did in a 55 overtime game. <laughs> they did, and then uh, everyone stormed the field. And then, and then, ironically, everyone stormed the field. Yeah. Uh, so you might have a few bye weeks now. Might have a couple. <laughs> <laughs> so it might have been one week. Uh, are they are they number one now? I think. Oh no, probably not. Who knows? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know either. So that shows you how informed I am. Yeah. Um, I did. I actually want to hear something really funny. I did basically a kind of like a rally. Notre Dame has this thing where they're in, engaging fans with former players because, of course, they don't have okay. too many games, and it's called rally. And so they, each game they do like with different uh, former players and stuff like that. So we had a really good group of guys. Um, but I was the only guy that actually couldn't watch the game as I was doing it with. So I was having to be caught up to speed from my boys text message to me and from the feed that I was watching guys cheering. And I'm like, okay, what happened? <laughs> Something could right. happen. Something could happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it, it was good to see you guys. But we're, yeah, we're, we're happy for Notre Dame. It's good. There you go. Big win. Anyway. And you know, a lot of Notre Dame guys are doing well in the league this year. They're actually uh, stepping up. I like that, you know. I got Chase. Chase is, I was say, uh, Chase Claypool, who uh, a lot of people want the Packers to draft him. Yeah. He didn't. So, <laughs> but, listen, listen, let's be honest here. It is what it is. Like, you got to – it's one of those things that it's not like our wide receivers are not performing well. 
it's not like we're not getting production. So at the end of the day, like you can't, uh, can't have it all. All I'm saying is that Devontae Adams he, is he, literally doing the job of about three wide receivers this season. Is, so we could have drafted Right now he's the best wide receiver in the game. And yeah. there's not a you, – you can argue if you want, but that would just be foolish. Dumb. Uh, and futile. Be dumb. Be dumb. No, the man is a monster. 173 yards this past Thursday, another touchdown. And it – and the thing that boggles my mind, and we talked about this with the Vikings game, is like it's not like it's any surprise where the ball is going, right? Oh. Like Devonte Adams, like is going to have double coverage like almost every single time, sometimes triple, like you saw in the Vikings game, and he's still tearing secondaries apart. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. He he's um, Devonte. I don't know if you have a clinic um, on the off season. You should teach a clinic because what you are doing is clinical and surgical in many ways. Um, and it's teaching tape, brother. So it is really, it's what he does. It's <laughs> getting off the line, finding ways to get open, body control. Yeah. I think right now, one of the, and I think he doesn't get as much uh, credit in regards to his body control mm. in, in getting separation and then being able, you know, Aaron's Aaron. Aaron's going to put the ball in a good space, but those. Sure, sure catches on the sideline uh, it's it's really it's just brilliant man like I, it's you know that fourth down was it fourth down or the uh, yeah you're talking about the one where he ran to the sideline and he caught in aaron even was just like yeah like it, it was honestly you have to be surprised because realistically that was you can't get any better coverage yeah he actually should have dropped the ball <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. So, if aaron would if you would have dropped the ball aaron would have been like that's okay <laughs> that's understandably yeah so uh yeah, he's, he is really – he's in a zone right now. We like to call that flow state. And he right now is just balling. He, is, he can't miss. And I think you, you feed on that. Hopefully the other guys are um, really taking heed of what he's doing and, you know, and how he's performing, stepping up, because they're going to feed off of that as well. So, yeah, it's, a, it's great to watch. It's impressive. Now, here, you brought up the idea of him doing a clinic during the offseason. Yeah. Now, would that just be for, like, you know, NFL players, would that be like something if that address happened to leak to me, I could attend if I provided funds? I would think so. Um, so I could you, go. The funds might not be worth it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, right. I, I thought we were just talking about how Devontae Adams, is, how, how, listen, what do you mean not worth it? This, no, this is my shot. no, 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 exactly. Except for the fact that are you going to run the routes? What are you going to do with the routes? I'm going to run them. <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to run I'm, those routes. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, go for it. Listen, I, Ryan, I, you know. The product is worth it. I'm not like what you'll learn absolutely is worth it. Here's, here's what I'm saying, Ryan. Is like, you know, we've, we've done this. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. I'm pretty sure this is like our 10th episode. It might be 11th. I can't really count. It was really, you, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. We had double digits. It was either last week or it was this week. It was one or the other. And, and what I'm, and by the way, by the way, over a hundred thousand views for our podcast. I'm just saying, I'm just really? saying, really? I'm just saying, there you go. just saying, regardless though, here's what I'm thinking. You know, I was going to wait until we got into double digits to bring this up, but you have some connections with the green Bay Packers. If you're able to photocopy the playbook and get it to me, I can study the routes beforehand and then I'll be set. I'll be good. I won't, I'm not going to leak it online. I'm not a narc. Like, yeah. you know, I, I, of course, won't tell you about it. Like, you know, I won't, won't snitch. Don't do anything. That. I'm just saying I could get it done. I show up. Boom. Tom Gross is on the Green Bay Packers practice squad. That's all I'm saying. Are your lines secured? Ooh, now, here's much. the thing. <laughs> I know some people in security. <laughs> here's the thing. And, oh, and by the way, if you have a copier at your house, because I don't, I don't have one, if you could take care of the copying of the playbook, too, that would be great. Um, or drop, you know what? Dropbox it. Okay, so let me bring you into 2020, almost 2021. They don't use hard copies anymore for their playbooks. They don't. It's all, it's all digital. Because of COVID. No, because <laughs> we're in the. <laughs> so they all right. So are they using Google Drive? Are they using Dropbox? Are they going like WeTransfer? What are we looking at? I don't know. 
It's been a while. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to so find out. What that sounds about. like is that anything can be hacked nowadays. So I'm just saying. I'm You're right. Just... Anything can be hacked. But are you trying to actually be in the good graces of the Packers? Or You're you not going to know it's me. Okay. Like, that's the thing. You're I'm the gonna... only person right now, literally, getting ready, not yet, but getting ready to be on the internet talking about actually hacking. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Here, here do, you don't, I don't want you to twist the words come in my mouth. I would pay someone else to, I would not do that because I would Either. do it in cash and in which like, you know, it's not traceable and there'd be no evidence besides me literally confessing to this crime right now. Well, yeah, and I would have nothing to do with it. And I can't even the fact that you told me. Ryan, I'm pretty sure if we rewind this tape. Now I can't have plausible deniability. So Ryan, if we rewind this, I'm pretty sure it was your idea to start with. That's what that's what I'm saying. Now you're in it with me. We're in the same boat together. So yeah. now we got to paddle together to get to shore. What's the shore? Oh, what's that on the horizon? The sure. Packers playbook. Listen, Ryan, all I'm saying is, is like, you know, you got to play for the Packers and yeah, sure. You had lots of talent and athletic ability, you know, and you know, I trained so hard for it. All I'm saying is I run a YouTube channel. Those things are like really close to get together. You know, I, I there, there's some similarities. I will say that the, the time and dedication mm. you're on track. Would you say that you're on track to your 10,000 hours or you pass surpassed it? Oh, we're, we're way. Oh, okay. So we're like in master mode. Your master podcast mode. Tom Grossi. Ryan, I, I ran a marathon. A few oh. years ago, I ran a marathon. I'm ready. I'm Listen, not in shape now. I don't, I will say, I don't, it doesn't equate to now. I don't, does it matter? No, no, absolutely not. No, it really wasn't a great time, too. I hurt my knee a few weeks before I was about to run it. So it slowed me down a lot. But all I'm saying is. It. Okay, well, those are two good things. You have put in mastery in something, some field, not the field that would probably help the most, but some field. You have actually completed a very difficult task. Yes. Um, you, you didn't say it went well, but you said you completed it. So those are two things. Finished under five hours with a hurt knee. That's not bad. Okay. All right. Um, do. Oh, can I wear glasses? You, play, on? you pay, play for free. Will I play for free? Yeah. 100%. Oh, see? Okay. Not opening doors. Opening doors. Yeah. You just. Brought yourself, you went from a probably a negative four percent to now you're looking at like a one point three. And well, but I'm in the I'm in the positive. There's light, yes. Oh baby, and there's light. The door is cracked. So, so you're so, saying there's a chance? Because absolutely, if you ran the numbers infinitely, mm -hmm. <laughs> because that's how the probability would have to take that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, <laughs> well, I'm going to write down one point. I'm going to, because I'm going to frame that. So 1.3%. Okay. Because in some reality, mm -hmm. everyone in the, every, every supreme genetic individual mm -hmm. gets hurt or is unavailable to actually sign with the Packers. And then they go to loyal, dedicated fans and supporters. And they still don't find you. Then they go to, no, <laughs> yes, they do find you. And then they, they give you a shot. They don't sign you right away, but they give you a shot. So with the playbook, that would help because you would already go in. But let me explain to you, Tom, come back in the frame. Come back into the frame. Let me explain to you what happens, though. You don't need the playbook to try out. Because all they tell you is to run a few routes. You need Devontae Adams to know what that route is. Okay. So but the playbook stuff. And realistically, I'll be honest with you. And yo, I see the metal. Clever. I like it. Yes. Also, the um, you'd probably be in your best interest. What you would like, developmental. Go to the practice squad first, so you get a chance to kind of. What you mean you address? Think. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, address twelve sixty five Lombardi Ave, Green Bay, Wisconsin five four three one three. 
There you go, champ. Okay. So what this sounds like. I didn't, I didn't, but that didn't come from me. What? You, you know, listen, I might not be a smart man, but I'm pretty sure that's on the internet. But, <laughs> but, but, and plus there's a Best Western down the street. I stayed there before. They have a heated pool. They have a heated pool. That is impressive. I it, think. I the think, rooms kind of smell like cigarettes a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I'm not surprised. A little bit. Uh, yeah, not surprised by that. But, oh, I mean, I could do an Airbnb, save some money since I'm doing this for free. All, uh, here's, here's what I'm hearing from you, Ryan Grant, professional football player. Ryan Grant, everybody, I just want to make this very clear. Please stop me when, I'm, when, when I say something correct. So the plan is, is that I need to go to Devontae Adams. Plan is? Plan is? Plan, 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 plan. Devontae yes. Adams, hypothetical skill camp that he's going to run. Right, his little yes, clinic, yes, right? yes. which, which I, he hasn't even started yet. But yes. I'm gonna be first in line. We're already this. We're already down a multiverse scenario. So yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's cutting it down. That's fine. We're centering in. Okay, so I'm gonna attend that. They're gonna be wowed. He's gonna be like, "Hey, run a post route," and I'm gonna be like, "Nailed it. Gonna run the wrong route," and then it's gonna be one of those things of like, "Wow, this kid." is a moron and then he's gonna look around and he's like am i being punked and when ashton kutcher doesn't come out yeah we're throwing punked references here he's going to feel sympathy because i already gave him an exorbitant amount of money probably and, if that's how it if, if, if that's how it plays out absolutely but then because Devonte is a good guy he is he will work with you exactly then because that it comes from a genuine place and that's it that's it and he's like, Tom, listen. Cool. And you become best friends. That's because it. We're, we're best friends. He might. It, he, he sees you as an opportunity mm. for service to help a fellow brother. That's it. Go. Community service. Community service is the staple of any civilization. And I think that Devontae Adams is going to see this and go, wow. And plus, on top of that, he gets all the publicity in the world. He's like, yeah, sure. He's like the best wide receiver in the league. He's on the Green Bay Packers and he's making millions of dollars. Or he can come on PackCast and boom. Yeah, <laughs> People who had no idea who Devontae Adams was because right. nobody who watches me watches football. And we give they, him a name. We give him a name for himself. That's it. And we allow him to make a name for himself. Yeah. Listen, and you have done your service. Done. You, you flipped it back and you paid it forward to him. We bartered. Wow. I do, I do think it's interesting that in this universe, mm -hmm. wherever it is, reality, that we, let's go back to the point that every able-bodied and talented individual is not available. Mm -hmm. So what's that about? Listen, we're living through crazy times right now. We got a pandemic going on. We are. Huh. All I'm saying is that we're going to pull an invincible and I'm going to be Mark Wahlberg. Hey, man. Uh, man manifest it, brother. Let's in, intention. Let's focus. Um, let's not, by any means, stop your day job or any other job or anything. Don't, don't stop anything else. Don't stop anything else. To don't stop, don't stop this, anything else. Okay. To, to keep this dream alive. I keep okay. it alive, but not at the expense of anything else. Okay. So you're saying... I should sell my house that I don't have. I should break up my marriage, quit the podcast, quit my day job, and literally go wait outside Lambo for Devontae Adams. I'm emphatically saying the total opposite. I think we are on the same page, Ryan Grant. Oh, well, uh, it's uh, been a good marriage. It's been a good run. Nope, nope. Shutting it all down, folks. <laughs> I'm going to Lambo. And uh, to be disappointed. <laughs> All I heard was 1.3% out of the entire conversation. And that honestly, was, that, was, that was better <laughs> than I could have ever imagined. The That's only thing. You so, you know what? It's like I did get drafted. That conversation right there. Just, that just opened the door for you. You see how that works? That was great. You see how one conversation just changes and now you're on a path? To well, you know, Ryan, I think what we just discussed there was process. We did. We did. We did. We did. If only you had a podcast 
If only, if only I had a podcast called Profits in Process and about process and the value of process. Um, if only, if only maybe had, in another universe somewhere. Maybe. Maybe one of these days. Every Wednesday. Maybe once a on every Friday. <laughs> mm. Ryan Grant gets to sit down with individuals. Better not me. Um, Definitely not. Not you, but could be you. No, no, you say it's important individuals, so no, no. no. Uh, you're important to some people. To, uh, not many. I'm not important to many people. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, there you go. You're important to me, Ryan Grant. That's you're all important that, to that's me. That's all that matters on the, I don't even remember the name of this podcast for the week. <laughs> <laughs> it was too long, something I'm... I'm I'm gonna. I am. I am going to tell you something that is going to happen after this podcast is over, which we have barely talked about well, anything that is going on. Well, we are having a blast. Though. We are no Packers. I am going to go on the internet and I am going to create a 1.3 percent T-shirt, and I am going to wear that. Word. I'm with that. You know what? I might. Hey, maybe I'll do that. Get a little merch. Get a little merch. 1.3 percent. In One point. You got a shot. That's it. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that conversation. <laughs> I thoroughly, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. You're going to have some serious conversations with your wife now. <laughs> Absolutely. She's not yeah. home and never is going to watch this, so I'm safe. So uh, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I love how you said she's never going to watch this. This is what, that's, that's, that's called true love. That's I true love. I appreciate that. The fact that she puts up with this on a daily that's, basis. That's, your spouse, partner values you enough to be honest with herself to say, yes. I don't care about this. <laughs> you know, Ryan, if, you, if I had to put it in a percentage of how much my wife cared, it'd be 1.3%. That, that's oh, that's where- You see this number, this is, oh, right. That's called prophecy. When the 1.3% starts to show up more and more and more and more. And, and you- <laughs> like that Jim Carrey movie. The number 23, that terrible movie that came out years ago. That's what that is. Hold on. I didn't close my door. Now the dog. Oh, the wife is home. That's a problem. Wife is home. What? That's, okay. That's, so good. the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> so back to the Packers. They uh, they spanked the, the 49ers this past Thursday. Aaron Jones came back, which was. No, okay. Now talk about pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. And yes, I'm looking good. Because now I think that this is a great week to get him back on track. And let's let's get it going. Let Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, you're good. You've proven that you can get the job done. That you're a solid quarterback. Let's just run the ball now. Let's run yeah. the ball. Let's get a little outside zone, a little inside zone, some traps, some little powers. We're doing a little, little some tosses. I like this stuff. Let's get um, Jamal's back. I okay. believe Jamal's back. Let's get him going. Oh, let's get him going. Get some screens. Big guy. I'm a big big fan of screens. Love the screens. Love the one I played. Love how it works. Let's do some screens. Let's dabble, dabble. Let's get him in slot. Bubbles across the board. What are we talking about? Let's just make it happen. I, I love bubbles. That's my game plan. I don't even know. I have no idea what the Jaguars have going on. They might be the best run defense in the league. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. It's not. It's not. But it's a good opportunity. Mm. I hear that. I hear, and, look, and here's the thing, too. That for like a lot of people, you know, before the stream, like before the game started, they were yeah. asking me, they were like, Tom, do I start Aaron Jones in fantasy? And I'm like, listen, if those doctors put him on the field, he's playing ball. Yeah, and yeah. that first drive, that was literally all Aaron Jones runs, passes, everything, all yeah. Aaron Jones. And it was a beautiful thing to watch. No, so, absolutely. I'm it's, all about it. Uh, give him the ball, let him get oiled up. Um. Yeah, it'll only help for later on in the season. So yeah, I'm 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 all about it. And then heading into you know the uh, the Jaguars game, hopefully they're activating Alan Lazard. So hopefully yep. Alan Lazard will be back. He's been practicing. You know they they they're going to activate him most likely, obviously. Uh, and so that's going to be a big plus getting a big wide receiver target back. And let, here's the thing. We got some winnable games coming up. A little tough, game, but we got the Jaguars. We're supposed to be getting back this week. Uh, is David coming back this week? He sh- I, I, I would think so. But I will say, though, I will say, and I love me some David Bakhtiari. 
that offensive line still looked real, real good on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? They never look worse with him. So that is accurate. That is so, uh, accurate. And yeah. my boy Elton Jenkins, good God, played three different positions on Thursday night. The definition of versatile. I, I'm 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 not gonna lie, but what year is he in? Uh, this is his second year. I think he's a future All Pro. I I, I don't. I don't disagree at all. I think that might be the defining pick of Brian Gutekunst's career. And I, and I don't say that lightly because he picked Jair Alexander who, you know, is undergoing concussion protocol. Hopefully he's okay. Um, but I mean, like, I don't think, think Jair is going to play this week. They're probably not. But Kevin three. King is practicing again. So that's a positive. Yep. Uh, there you go. But Jenkins, man, I mean, like he's, he's, he's the man. He yeah. is the man. Uh, yeah. He's I'm, I'm excited to see, his future uh, in Green Bay. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. And heading sure. into the Jaguars game, this is, you know, they're, they're starting their backup QB. He had a good game last week. You know, he had a solid game. Obviously not a lot of tape on him, but the Jaguars are a, a pretty depleted football team. They're not like, and again, you can't sleep on them. Can't sleep on any team in the NFL here. You know, know, we thought the Bucks were all big, bad, and tough. And Yeah, they got Molly Wap. Molly Wap. That's, that's the definition of Molly Whopping. Yeah. That, and listen, all I'm going to say is the Green Bay Packers beat the Saints. That's all I'm going to say. I know the Buccaneers beat us, but that's all I'm going to say. That, that's, that's all I'm going to say on the topic. Yeah. We kind of Molly Whopped the Saints too, right? I mean, we were in firm control of that entire yeah. game, I would yeah, say. The entire game, it was never a question of whether or not we were. No. We, uh, were, we were moving and grooving. So, I'm all about it. There's no game, so you you got to take it for what it is. True. You know? But they didn't look good against the Giants either last week. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it, it... – Packers were their Super Bowl. Uh, they, they beat the Packers in. Shelf it up. Listen. Which, which happens sometimes. Once you get that close to greatness. Yeah. You, you keep chasing the high, and you're just never going to get it the, again. So. Nothing – you beat Aaron Rodgers and a Packers team – in the way that they did, nothing feels better. Nope. Nope. So, and they got a pick six on them. And so, like, that's no, it. They hit the they pinnacle. Got... And now it's all downhill, baby. Because once you're at the top, the only way you can go is down. And I remember, I wonder if, I know when we played down there in 2009, which is eons ago, and we got, and we didn't get Molly Wap, but it was a terrible game. Oh, God, my hamstring was on fire. Mm. And Aaron threw a pick, and I can't remember if they got, if they ran it back for a uh, for a touchdown. I, it was close, very close. Um, if you didn't, but anyway, um, that was just me reminiscing of the <laughs> reminiscing of an injury. Just like ah, oh, I remember being on fire. Terrible. My hamstring was it was it was it was just a rough game. Like we went down there, and we still should have won the game. And it was like oh, yeah. good, can't catch it, can't catch a break, but. Yeah. Listen, right now, what matters is the Green Bay Packers are six and two. The Bears got smacked, <laughs> which I'm all about. I'm sorry. I and in it's, like three weeks, up. two weeks from this Sunday, we're playing. They actually, Sunday. they actually were like doing well, playing a strong. Couldn't put a point on the board. <laughs> they, they got shut out for three quarters, and I, I mentioned this in the show. Did the did the defense shut them out, or did their own offense shut them out? Because that offense is bad. They are bad. Khalil Mack is – he is a, a, a good teammate. Mm -hmm. and he is going to do everything he can to stay supportive of those guys, but they better make something happen ASAP because you're talking about a generational talent that – once-in-a-generation talent that literally, like, you may go somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, I feel you. I know. I'm very sad that they are wasting Khalil Mack in that defense is uh, prime. It really uh, just <laughs> only there was something we can do. But I don't care about them. I care about Khalil, individual. I like Khalil. Okay. You want, you want to see players get an opportunity to be on teams and win. Except I agree. Them, I them agree. Them. Nope, that's not true because I like Cook. He's the truth, and he deserves a win as well. 
as long as he's not on the Viking. I mean, he just signed like a mega contract with him, so he's not going anywhere. Yeah, he's not going but, anywhere. You know, which is disappointing. But um, the Vikings yeah, I mean, can just like change their entire team to like a different color, different logo, different city. Different city. Just get out. Just just get out of Minneapolis. You don't need it. It's change your entire identity, literally. Just become like the Minnetonka Vikings, and maybe that'll help a little bit better. Maybe. I mean, listen, St. Louis is looking for a team. Go there. Go back to St. Louis. You know, just see what happens. I think looking ahead, you know, this is one of those games that's similar to the Vikings game last Sunday. This is a game that they need to win. This is a game that they're going to be expected to win. And now's the time when they're starting to get healthy again. This is where you rack up those wins because you're going to need them later in the season. Absolutely. You have some teams coming up. You know, like the Bears defense is still, you know, concerning i think we'll we'll destroy with their offense but you know you have some teams like the titans that are coming up later in the year you know that's gonna be a tough game especially with derrick henry that i'm not looking forward to that is that in Tennessee or is that in green bay it's in green bay okay all right could be a difference maker um and their defense is not good i'm concerned about our run defense that's that's what i'm concerned yeah yeah yeah. no absolutely that's that's one of those things that we haven't wasn't mad yeah that's friend you're looking at basically the C squad of the 49ers, yes. but, but that wasn't mad at how it looked. Um, so yeah, we haven't, I don't know if we're going to get a test before that. So they better, they better work it out in practice and game plan wise, because trust me, if you don't think that Henry's going to try and get after that, but anyway, they'll, uh, I think they'll, I think they're going to, they're going to step some things up right now. These are uh, Aaron knows, and he's going to get the rest of those vets. The veterans on the team know that this time right now is really about stacking wins yep. and playing the type of football because you want to kind of – now it's, it's separation time. Like, literally, I don't, I don't think – and I said this this morning on the Bill Michael show, a little lousy plug. Um, humble, that, humble flex, humble flex. That uh, it's – we were talking about there's no real team. Like, there's no real, 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 like, elite team in the NFC. Uh so, which is great, I think, in regards to like, okay, everything's for the taking. It's just go out and do your job, and you want to you want to be that guy. And then let's, now it's it, it's right, it's prime, it's ripe. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they'll I think they'll be ready to go. We got we got the Jags, and then who is it? Tennessee after that? Uh, Colts. No, Colts. Tennessee. I think is like week sixteen. They're like super late cool. in the yeah. season, but okay. so, yeah, we have. So I like that. I like that we have we have two teams that I think uh, don't really know their identity, and we can take advantage of that and. Then you got the Bears. We got then we got yeah then we got uh the Bears. Yeah, I you know it's funny you bring that up because I was thinking the exact same thing and you know we we've said that this is a week to week league you know yeah. for for a long a long time. I feel like it is so beyond true this season in a season that's full of like unpredictability and craziness. But like there are teams that look unstoppable and then get blown out in the next week or get like a really close game with a really bad opponent. I mean, like you look at the chiefs, and, you know, and, and I don't think the Panthers are like God awful, but the Panthers aren't like a great football team. They lost and, that game. It, yeah. There was a lot of opportunities for them to lose that game. Like they're, yeah. they're it's real close. I thought they were going to lose. Uh, Steelers and Cowboys. Like that's another one. Bill's yeah. blowing out the Seahawks. Like that game was not as close as the score indicated. Like they, you were, AFC is playing some ball. So whatever it is, yeah. then it's going to get together because the AFC is legitimate. The Bills are a legitimate team. I don't care what anyone says. The Bills are serious and you better be ready for them because they're going – they're right. They know how to play. Um, I do think that it's funny when people are talking about all oh, the, the the close game between the Dallas and the Steelers game. That, to me, the Steelers have been playing so well consistently – that to be in a game like that where they're not playing the best, yeah, and but still find a way to win, that's serious. That's legitimate, and that actually is a test, like a testament to them. It's like, oh no, 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 that we were still able to find a way to win, even though mm. they're obviously one of the worst teams in the league. But they got it done, and now they can go in and clean up shop. So, um, yeah, the pa- Packers, Seattle, your, what's your boy? Your boy threw eighty-five turnovers here, like like eight turnovers, right? Wilson. Yeah, he, he, I think through two picks, had a fumble. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the MVP front runner. Get the hell out of here. Not more. Uh, yeah, not even not even more. Yeah, I think yeah, I think he had like four turnovers or something. Anyway, Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Yeah, I'd say so. 
they might save Mahomes based upon the fact that they're <sighs> just they might- won it. Come on, Mahomes. You know what? You know what I think is disgusting, and even though I don't care about it that much, Aaron Rodgers has never been on a Madden cover. Oh, that's disrespect right there. That's You're legit right. disrespect. I don't think he cares about that. No, no, no. And I don't really care about it. I don't even think he wants to be on the Madden cover at this point in time. Um, he, you know what? He should be on. It would be dope if they put him on a Madden cover doing his old school. Listen, when he wins his second Super Bowl this year, there you go. That's exactly what's going to happen. The NFC is wide open. Wide open. So, what I'm going to ask you here? Five wide. Why not the Packers? Well, we've already. What do you mean? We already know it is the Packers. This, That's what I'm this, saying. Why not? This, this is fluff. Like we, we do this to uh, for the for the giggles. It's true. We do this for the uh, for the fans. You know what it is. You know what it is. Well, I think that this has been a very productive podcast, and I think so. I, I think one point three percent. A lot of imagination in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a lot of reality too. I, I like to add, uh, whether it's this reality or not, you know, yeah. that's, that's yeah, okay. I'm with that. Yeah, there's that's up for debate, absolutely. You know, and I think, uh, listen, here's here's what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. All right, so right now, Tom Grassi's sitting at uh, what was it, 126,000 subs, something like that. 126,000 subs, you know, <laughs> next year. When we're uh, moving and grooving, we, you know, we hit 250 at some point. You got 126,000. Good for you. When we started, you had 100. My man. All right. Oh, oh yeah. We got, we got, we have 26,000 the past two months. We we're moving on up straight to the top of it. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Any one of these days now, the Green Bay Packers are going to call me and they're like, Tom, let's do some uh, podcasting stuff. And I'm going to be like, I'll do you one better. I'll play football for you. I'll do you one better. That is, I like that. And then they hang I up the like phone. That. Yeah. yeah you go. I, <laughs> They're just like, sorry. No, they- <laughs> They're actually going to call me and be like, you need to stop using our logo and likeness. Thank you. And hang, <laughs> and hang up the phone. I'll do you one better. Yeah. I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> They'll be like, uh, sir, no, please don't. Please don't come. <laughs> Outside the stadium. They're like, what, what? Yeah. Yep. I, I'm already I'll- here. I've been waiting for this call. That's, what? that's true. I've been living in my car. It's cold <laughs> at night. <laughs> listen, I listen. Mark knows. I've 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 been in there before. I've got I've got my little security badge. I've gone up. We've talked to him twice. I've I've been, I've seen the offices. All right, you have. You see, so you have an idea. You get to make yourself. Com- All you do is like, listen. I'm already just making myself comfortable here. That's it. That's it. You know, we'll 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 get in there. And uh, we'll do what we have to do. And fine, if they want me to do a podcast or something, fine. But all I'm saying is, you know, let me catch a few passes uh, from Aaron Rodgers. And that will be that. You know what? Actually, now that brought up one more thing before I close this thing out. There you go. This is, this is a reach. And this is a completely off-topic thing. But I thought about it when I'm, I'm catching passes from Aaron Rodgers. So it's been said that Brett Favre threw the ball so hard that it broke people's fingers. Yeah. Okay. Aaron Rodgers, is he breaking fingers? I'm sure he's broken fingers. Okay. I I do know that Brett broke some fingers. Brett broke fingers. Um because I was there. Um, <laughs> you saw it. I saw the breaks. Um and I'm I I'm almost positive Aaron broke them because Aaron throws insanely hard as well. Um, it's kind of badass. I mean, I would not want my fingers to be broken. Also, yeah, these two guys—they throw really hard, so it wasn't—it wasn't a, a like a let off the gas when Aaron started throwing. Um, so you're saying my my hands? Have were you seen wide receiver? Yeah. Well, you better start strengthening your hands right now. I don't know what you do, but whatever you don't do, start doing it. And okay. uh, yeah, like that's not gonna cut it because they're gonna explode. Like they, I would catch. Oh, it would just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. Wiley Coyote just stubs oh, left with smoke. Art, you know what? Invest in a jug machine. I'm mean, not. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> See? Okay. A jug machine is the machine that they. Nope. 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 Not juggle. Got it. Got it. They shoot the balls. Oh, I just never knew what it was called. I just call it the ball shooting machine. But okay, that makes sense. Same thing. <laughs> the jugs. Jug machine. So you can invest in a jug machine, guys. I don't know how often, <clears throat> how common it is now. The guy, but most, some guys buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Especially if I was a wide receiver, I'd definitely buy one. I said probably still should have bought one as a running back. All right, um, uh, it's a jug machine. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, disclaimer. Uh, it is three thousand dollars. I I was getting ready to say disclaimer. I was gonna hit you with a disclaimer. Pricing may vary and uh, might be a little bit steep. But for that 1.3% dream, can you find a way to sell a lot of stuff? Mm. Or listen, find a way to sell anything. Do you have any product that you can sell? You're a teacher. You can sell. <laughs> no, no, I mean, <laughs> you said to sell anything. I'm desperate. Oh, you're a teacher. I'm saying that you have the ability to sell knowledge. Yeah, they don't pay me for that, though. <laughs> <laughs> you better put a course together. You're, okay. Oh, oh, now we're talking. Devante's teaching wide receiver skills. I'm teaching post World War One culture. Nailed yes. it. There you go. Cool. I think if we do this podcast for six more years, five times a week, I think I can come up with five grand or three grand, whatever it is. By yeah, by that time it'll be five grand. So it's that's good. true because yeah, inflation. In that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So Ryan, I'll see you tomorrow. Then uh, we'll get we'll get up bright and early. We'll we'll be we'll be knocking out this podcast, and we're gonna start doing them every day. And by that time, you know, because we're making six dollars a podcast, we'll. Uh, oh wait, no, that's a lot. So less, but we'll be doing that. A lot less. Yeah, it's way too much. Okay, okay. I I, I think this is a great plan. Um, well, now you have. Now you can visualize what you need to get you on the path to manifest that one point three. This is what we want. We want to. We want to jump in increments. So mm-hmm. let's not look at one point three to two. 1.3 to 1.5. Whoa, we're jumping. Oh, I thought we were going to just go 1.4, 1.2. Oh, hey now. All right, now here's the thing. In five years when I'm able to afford this machine for the first time, I will be 35 years old. You will be 35. So what's that doing to the percentage? Because I feel like it's not going up. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It depends on is, are, is, is the... Are we in dystopian times? Or are we? Are we still? Are are, are is, is everyone? Mm. Everyone's gone. Like are all the? I'm saying because that, that that plays a part. <laughs> if is everyone dead? <laughs> is, if, all, if all the able-bodied athletes are gone, gone? I think you're you're still good. I think I'm I think, still at one point three. I'm saying yeah, I, think you're, yeah. I think you're still solid. You definitely haven't dropped. Okay. Okay. I can work with that. And now, all right. Now here, in 2028, oh, crap, man. Like in eight years, we're running for president though. So, you know. We are running for president. Well, that's a doozy. So, however. I run for president who was a professional athlete. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. In eight years, when I'm president, can't I like kind of force them to literally sign me to a team? Like kind of, yeah. can I like? But you would get, you'd be honorable. So like you could get like an honorable jersey. You know how like when you win a Super Bowl, you go and we gave Obama like an honorable Packers jersey. Yeah, he's a Bears fan. <laughs> a Bears fan, so it was like whatever. He burned I, it. I, I, my, I was like, man, give me that jersey back. Like I don't even want it. Yeah, he burned it. Yeah, I'm never sure burned it. But. You get like honorable, but not, you don't want honorable. (laughs) You want legitimate. You want to actually. That's right. You want to be able to line up. That's right. And tell the ref, I'm off. And look at Aaron, give him the eyes and say, forget it. I got the go route. And Aaron's looking at you and saying, no, no, no. You're like, yes, I got the, I got it. (laughs) I see the feet. I got this go route and you run a go route and Aaron doesn't throw to you because you're not actually open, but, and and that's when security tackles me for being on the field when I'm not supposed to. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like you want to actually be able to get on the field. Okay. So we're looking for, we want legitimacy. We don't okay. want, honorable. we don't want that. Ryan, I, I, I think I can't thank you enough for I'm giving you two. I'm giving you the keys, brother. Investing me, you know, not only giving me $3,000 to buy this jug machine, but also just give me the knowledge, calling up Aaron Rodgers and vouching for me. Like, you know, honestly, you're a true friend and I really appreciate that. And I'm not gonna do anything to walk that. away with at this podcast. It's that Ryan Grant believes in Tom Grassi as a Packers wide receiver and will fully back everything that he does, no matter the financial cost. That's truly Ooh. this is the place of miracles, people. This is this is the place of miracles. Wow. <laughs> what a great show. What what a great show. That was I, great. Um delusion is also we should have named this podcast the delusional one. Yeah. I'm sorry, you say something? I miss that. I miss that. I just texted my wife that, you know. You text your wife that. It's been good. It's been good, but I have a path that I need to follow. Listen, Ryan, one of my favorite movies in the past decade is something called Whiplash. You ever see that movie? Oh, it's a phenomenal movie. Phenomenal. Listen, if you want to be great. You got, you got to do it. You got to put in the work. You got to do it. So. so I expect there to be a... I don't know. You're not going to get that jugs machine anytime soon. So you better at least start acting like a jugs machine is coming. You know what? I'm going to. Uh, so your wife to just start throwing stuff at you. She's going to, when you start telling your plans, she's going to, regardless. So let's see if you can catch those. That's true. Whenever you, she's going to be throwing stuff at you. So you got, you're going to have the opportunity to definitely catch a bunch of stuff. It might be stuff that. It'll be heavier than a football. It, it might be stuff that could hurt you. So, um, Maybe. but. But I'll break my fingers now. And so they'll, they'll grow back stronger. Exactly. They will. Bones grow back stronger. Absolutely. There we go. Now we're working. And yeah. it gives you opportunity to see if this is really what you want. Is this what you want? Is it what you want? Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Don't want to just be some random podcaster in their basement. <laughs> I want the real thing. And listen, I'll bring that Lombardi home. Bring it up. I will say I think you're, uh, there's there there is a potential avenue that is a little more feasible and will give you the same opportunity to get the Lombardi. Oh, work for the Packers, like selling Cracker Jacks. No, like listen, make your podcast so strong that the Packers decide. To bring you in. Oh, you mean like I already have more subscribers and views than the entire Packers YouTube channel? Oh, that one? Yeah, but clearly... We're getting not- 2.5 million views a month. What do you want from me, Packers? Why haven't you called? I don't know. Maybe we need to find out. Yeah, what do the Packers want? What do you want? Like, what there's, do you some want? there's some tangibles and there's got to be some data. I will maybe ask around on that. Mm. Mm. They want. I know what they do want. They do want people that want to be a part of the organization. So, huh. well, you go. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you gold. But all I'm gonna say is, with it. Tom Grassley coming to Green Bay, Wisconsin soon. That's it, and we're gonna stay at that Best Western again because they have the heated pool. But Ryan Grant, tell the people where they can find all the things that you do. Find me, Ryan Grant two five at Ryan Grant two five on Twitter, Ryan dot Grant on Instagram, Facebook, all that. You can just find me. If you find me, for the most part, I'll respond. Dude, I text you like every day. You never respond. <laughs> I said for the most part. <laughs> for certain people that I want to communicate with. Yeah, most- well, listen, I will be Venmoing you uh, after this show with a request for three grand. Uh, no, it's going to be more chipping, maybe like a little with tax and stuff. Um, but for that jug machine, and I'm really looking forward to it. And send it. And then let me know when it gets fulfilled. Okay. Okay. Oh. You know what? I believe in this so much. I'm going to hold my breath while I do it. Hold your breath. But once again, let your wife know you're holding your breath. And make sure she is trained in some sort of 
EMT field. Because she is going to have a heart attack when she finds out that I am getting signed by the Green Bay Packers. That's a good call. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is my favorite podcast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this was my favorite. We talked about the Packers for a total of four minutes, but this has been... <laughs> Oh, it's all Packers. We just talked about the team. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's that's true. Folks, you can find me at Tom Grassi Comedy everywhere. Tom Grassi everywhere. If you're watching this, then you already know where to find me. So it's all good. But thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. I'm Tom Grassi. That's Ryan Grant. Both NFL football players by the Green Bay Packers. Oh, Mine's just man. pending. Just pending. Throw it out there, brother. Just throw it out there. There you pending. go. And as always. Pending. I like that. Go Pack Go. Go Pack Go.